You know, I want you to uh, look at the Boundless Readers logo up there. It says Boundless Readers. Underneath it, it says Unleashing the Power of Reading. And I kind of want to talk about that today um, because I think we hear a lot about the core principles of Boundless Readers, putting books in classrooms, uh, getting kids to read. But I don't really know if a lot of people know what that actually means, the kind of the nuts and bolts of that, right? I think that we all know about uh, one of the great uh, power of reading is pleasure. I don't think if we, if we didn't believe in that, I don't think we would be here tonight, right? That probably the single most important thing uh, for when it comes to reading is to have kids find pleasure in their reading, and for us as well, right? I think we would also agree with the humanity of reading and the, uh, the fact that reading makes us human. These are, some of the, these are the, really the core beliefs that Rochelle Lee had herself, right? And that goes to empathy as well. I think that everyone in this room probably really would think that reading, reading makes us more empathic people. Nancy Atwell, who is, was a great middle school teacher, a lot of the teachers in here know who she is, says that what we need to be doing is cultivating skilled, passionate, habitual, critical readers. To get that, what do children need to do more than anything to have that happen? What do they need to do? They need to read. They need to read, and they need to read a lot. The more children read, the better readers they become. And the only way that's going to happen is, with, is what's called independent reading. Because it's a core belief of boundless readers. It's one of the reasons you're here today. When we talk about putting books in kids' classrooms, putting books in teachers' classrooms in their classroom libraries, it's for independent reading. That's what it's for. Independent reading oh, is also called sustained silent reading, SSR, drop everything and read, dear, free volunteer and reading. I call it something much more unique. I call it reading. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It looks like this. If you walk into a classroom that's doing independent reading during reading time, this is what you'll see. This is what we want to see. And this is what they need to be doing every day in school. And we need to make it a priority because many of these kids will not read outside of school. We have to, the only way we're going to have them read a lot is if they read inside school, right? Classroom libraries are absolutely essential. We've heard about classroom libraries. This is what they look like. When we talk about your donations, helping boundless readers to put books in classrooms, these libraries were partly funded by boundless readers. These are the, li these are the books that these children are reading. If we want them to read 25 books a year, I'm proposing at least 20 of them minimum have to be from independent reading. So if you have a classroom library to give you an idea, how many books do you need? You need a lot of books. A rule of thumb is at least 10 books a kid. That means if you have 30 kids, you need at least 300 books in that classroom library. If you don't have that, you're not going to get kids to read a lot because independent reading is free choice reading. With the teacher's guidance, as we'll talk about, but it's choice reading. You have kids with different tastes. You have kids with different reading levels. Every teacher in here knows you need a huge library in order to get kids to read these books. And the more they read, the better readers they'll become. And so what books go in the library? The books kids want to read. Action adventure books, romance books, nonfiction books, dystopian books. Realistic fiction with characters that the kids can identify with. Steampunk. Vampire books. Zombie books. Alien books. Sports books. Books that connect to kids' cultures. Dr. Seuss books. Funny books. Books about the past. Books about war. Graphic novel books, fantasy books, picture books. These are the books that we need, to, that you are here helping to support to stock in these libraries because these are the books that these kids want to read. 
And these are also, i got to tell you, they're awesome books. Who here in this room has read at least one of these books on this screen? Look at that.